Mascots. Quite possibly the cornerstone of the video game industry from its very inception. From overweight labourers to woodland creatures, they've always formed the backbone of the industry. But all the way back in 1982, it was a rather sparse environment for our electronic heroes. Sure, Japan had the likes of Jumpman, and America had the likes of Pitfall Harry, but what did us Brits have? Minor Willy? Nah, he was still a twinkle in Matthew Smith's eye. We had Horace. What do you mean you've never heard of Horace? Why, well, he's a delightful cartoon figure, according to the back of the game box. Well, I'm glad they know what the heck he is. We ain't got the foggiest. Some sort of disembodied bum by the looks of him. Well, our friend Horace started his trilogy of games with Hungry Horace. A highly original rump that's not ripping off Pac-Man in any way, shape or form whatsoever. He simply goes around eating green dashes for some reason, while avoiding non-ghost faces. And released only a few months later was its sequel, Horace Rips Off Frogger. Um, no, sorry, I mean Horace Goes Skiing, where our lovable bum chum has to traverse a busy highway, avoiding brown trucks, JCBs, gangs of bikers, and ambulance drivers who obviously want to fill their quota. Ooh, heading to the hospital, sir. We're just going that way, funnily enough. To get to the ski shop, return back across the same lethal road to then risk breaking your neck on a ski course that's got so many trees on it you'd have thought the Amazon rainforest had been snowed over. And his final non-copyright infringing adventure was released a year later in the guise of Horace and the Spiders, where Horace doesn't rip off Pitfall and has to jump over spiders instead of scorpions and swing it on spiders webs instead of vines, climaxing with a final level that's definitely not ripping off Load Runner. Unfortunately, Horace became the video game equivalent of Rick Astley. No one's heard hide nor tail of him for the past 20 years. Possibly because old Bumface was beaten to death by an army of Atari, Konami, Hudson Soft and Namco lawyers. So next time you get mooned at, just think of it as a tribute to one of the founders of gaming mascots. Horace, we salute you. This has been a Portland Interactive production for XLeague.tv. Unless you bite me, I'll bite you.